I haven't really been paying attention to the patterns, but yeah. Chimak, Shunru's charm. Famed foe, discre decrease in size, fragile. Do you like my crown, made of Chimak? Out of what? <laughs> right, does this give me further? No. Okay. Gives me morsels. Morsels and follower meat. And I can make uh, deadly dishes out of follower meat. If I want to do. If I want to risk instant death of followers. Uh, okay. Alright. So, decrease in size is useful for avoiding things, but less useful for actually hitting them. So it kind of depends on your build, I guess. Also, it's fragile, so it might only last until you get hit. Ooh. Ooh. I'm talking about... Fancy, really? Okay. Do, 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 do. Yeah, haven't had a chance to swap out the curse yet. Uh, yeah, next room. So, stone gathering, and then we we should get a curse to swap out for the next one. Oh, you get golden nuggets here as well. I guess it's just technically anything mineral related. So crystal shards, rocks, and gold nuggets. Okay. Alright. To the boss. <laughs> Steal that devotion. Cut the grass, cut the grass. Uh, oh, I forget, there's not actually any dummies in these rooms. There we go. Okay. Alright, what we got? Explosions! 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 Right, let's get the big one. I'm just summoning. Is the big one dead? Should be right. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, it's kind of a shame that necromantic weapons uh, are not very useful for boss fights. I mean, they're great for clearing out rooms, assuming that there are lots of enemies that you can attack and kill. I suppose a lot of the bosses have minions anyway, so you might be able to use it for those purposes, but it doesn't seem as impactful as like things that do critical hits on you know, attacks and things like that. We've got multiple dashes. Alright, again, I will take an easy room like that. Yeah, what is with these, like, little lips that, uh... uh I guess it's, it's probably a quirk of the room generation, now that I think about it. Basically, when the game is deciding which room will link to another, they're, like, they're choosing corners to act on. Say, right, this room will go here, this room will connect to this one. Again, it's a similar thing that, like, Enter the Gungeon did, is it would have potential room like placements and if you wanted to sort of find secret rooms then you'd look in those certain areas. Right. Change the curse? No. Bane dagger or Bane sword? I think Bane sword. Wider range. Let's go right. Trap. Oh, I got stuck on a rock. Oh. Oh, shield is 
destroyed. Thank you. Uh, room's not finished. No. Stuck in a row. Thank you. Uh, the other thing I'm wondering actually is, is the fleece the reason why the the game colour might be saturated? Because I'm just now noticing that the fleece is kind of like whitish blue, and that might be contributing to the whitish blue glow in the game. But I'll, I'll definitely look that up to see, is there a reason why the game colour might look different? They probably wouldn't have done that as like a, a choice of these because then that would change the entire look rather than how the gameplay is. But I know it's a common thing like, hey, we have a colorblind mode. We're going to put this on for people that want it. Okay, so hello. Right, let's get the big one. Get rid of the trap. Your poison. Reaper has reached old age. Uh, that probably means that he's not going to be a loyalty enforcer anymore. Because right? if we're assuming that old followers can't be told to do work, then they can't also be told to do loyalty collection or like tax extortion stuff like that. All right, that's the door. It's now unlocked. Mm-hmm. Got kind of a bad curse for this, or a curse that I don't really like. So... Ah, well. We'll give it a go. Chop, chop the grass. Chop, chop the grass. And the crystal. Hello, Callum. Insignificant critter, you will learn your place. You do not understand, Lamb. Heed my warning and stay away. Blech. All right, so four arms. Oh, a weapon in each arm. Okay, Kalamar. I am now tiny. Ooh. Oh, you move quicker when you're smaller as well. That's not good. Oh, yeah. Don't hit though. All right. So the the what is that? The ball. The ball gives a bullet hell attack. Being small helps with this actually because of the help happen. Ooh, big swing. Uh, not close enough. Right. Yeah, I can see the game's hitching a little bit when it comes to um, getting hit. Going on. Go, 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 go. I wonder, with a relic being um, fragile, that implies that it's actually just one use. So, can you get multiple relics? Stay away from me, please. Stay away. Thank you. Right, just avoid the hat. It's a slow moving one to catch you out. Whoa. Yeah, they got definitely have different patterns. Yeah. If that was any faster, I would have taken a hit. 
This curse is just not fantastic, unfortunately. Could have done with a much better one. Alright, so Harborim, Progreno, Valifar, Majul, Reaper, Greenma. I kind of think I need the full heal, so I'm gonna go with um, Majul. Wait, no, Valifar, because he's lower level. Wait, is it 4 to 4? Yeah, it's 4 to 4. <sighs> but yeah, being small means that I'm not... I'm getting, like, really close to Kalamar. And it's a bit dicey with so many of these enemies around as well. He keeps coming towards me as well, actually. Stay out of range. Oh, I got hit. Ugh. Stay still. Thank you. It's a good chunk. Okay, the game is definitely hitching quite a bit. Okay, let's get another good chunk. Just do damage, just do damage. There we go. <sighs> Heart of a heretic. And yeah, I definitely needed that full heal. So, thank you for your sacrifice of Valfar. Heart of a heretic. A leafy lantern. Break the body bit. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and there's another thing as well. Calamar trophy. A trophy for killing Calamar. Let's go. Heretics defeated. Cleanse the non-believers. And bishop bonus. Kalamar was always a coward. This land is a better place. Now his pathetic, sniveling carcass is nothing more than a mound of rotting flesh. Soon I shall be freed and the world remade in my image. All will pledge themselves to the cult. All will bow to my name. Okay, well, we did it. Um, hmm. What now, though? Because I'm pretty sure I don't have 12 followers. Suffering shall turn to triumph. That which once did perish shall now pray. But yes, I'm pretty sure I can't unlock Silk Cradle now. Because I sacrificed Valifar. So I should only have 10 followers, I think. I guess we'll find out once we get back to the cult. But I'm pretty sure it's not that many, because I haven't been making any bets. I'm back. Oh, of course, I've been sending people off as well. I return safe. 30 lumber. Right. Proceed. inspiration. Uh, right, so... 
Grand Shelter, Outhouse 2, Higher Capacity, <laughs> uh, Lumberyard and Stone Mine. I suppose I should make Lumberyard and Stone Mine because I have broken a couple of these. Lumber up. This. Uh, okay. Let's go over here. Followers are starving, of course. Let's do a sermon. Half of the way there. Crown ability. We're at the max, so we can't do this. So we can either do the hunger or the darkness within. Uh, I think we'll do the darkness within. Unlock. You unlocked a new crown ability. You will begin each new crusade with a diseased heart. Diseased hearts damage all enemies in the room when you take a hit. Right, so in terms of rituals, uh, we can do ritual of resurrection. Sure, bring some people back. Uh, we want to bring back Valifar. Because the rituals of resurrections are on cooldown, it always makes sense to do it as soon as you can. Because then you have the, the resources to do it and you can get the cooldown generated again. Um, right, I guess we'll do a loyalty enforcer one. Because Reaper is low level. So yeah, we'll make it banana. <laughs> Wahaha. <laughs> uh, faith is down, though. Uh, I don't need to do a feasting one. Uh, let's see. Increased loyalty. Increased shrine devotion. Sacrifice of the flesh. Yes, I have 11 followers now. So, I can't... I can't go to Silk Cradle next. Uh, let's leave the Shrine Devotion thing for a little bit. So yeah, I think what I'm going to do is... Oh, let's make some meals, because everyone's starving. Uh, I should have enough for grassy stuff now. Yeah. So, just generate all this. Do, 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 do. Alright, let's fix this stuff. Um, yeah, let's pick the berries before the, the birds take them all. Basically, my thinking is is that I'm going to go and do a quick run to get an eye of a witness, and then we will call the stream for today, and then the next time we play or stream, I'll have done some resource grinding to get things like stone, lumber, gold coins, gold nuggets, gold bars, and just generally, like, change things around in the cult. Um, again, because I'll be doing sermons, I'll naturally get abilities to help with the next crusade, but what I won't do is I won't go and do any runs in Silk Cradle until, you know, we've, we've hit that point. Uh, might as well inspire you because there's lots of people nearby. Uh, Hanano, you are tired. Go sleep. And who else is tired? Is it just everyone? I think it's just everyone. Uh, what do I want? Coins? No. Gold. Uh -huh. Oh, Nojul. Majul and Nojul. Uh... Loyalty reward, please. Come on. There we go. The 
thing with Divine Inspiration is that I don't have to spend uh, Divine Inspiration immediately. I can hold off on those upgrades. But again, it doesn't really help because I can't build the building straight away. Alright, uh, What's up? There are some folks who are starving and have no place to call home. We must let them join our cult. Starving followers. Sure. Free followers. Please, spare me. No, we're on. And you are sickly and sloth. But you're a follower. Oh, nope, not you. Febrebre! And you are strong constitution. Sweet. And let's make some more grassy meals, why not? So we'll just have them around. Oh, ooh. So the first meal was something else. I didn't catch what it was. Yeah, don't eat the burned food. Okay. Uh, right. Grab these. Yeah, because I'm curious about how quickly a run to get an Eye of a Witness actually takes. Guess it unlocked. Oh, because of course we've got 12 followers now. Yeah. Right, uh, so Darkwood is over here. So does it go straight into getting the Eye of the Witness boss fight? Or is it like do a run of four runs again? Summon in. Uh huh. Ooh, upgraded tarot cards. Nice. Diseased Heart, The Lovers, Master of the Arts. And gift from below have been upgraded. Sweet. That's pretty good. Right. So the enemies are upgraded, probably? Yes, they are. Stop moving! Stop moving! Alright, there we go. Uh, let's go right to begin with. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the same difficulty you had when we had to beat Leshy. So I would assume that the, the Eye of the Witness fight is at the end of this room generation. Okay. Karen going right then, I guess. Yeah, also, having the experience of fighting enemies, like, you know, this guy jumps over your head, so it's just to try and catch you from dodge rolling away. But of course, you don't need to do that if you're just gonna mash right in the front of their faces. Hello, guys. So there is a bit of a delay on the disease type thing. But it's a nice, easy screen clear. Oh, this is the way to go. Okay. Let's go back and do that final room that we skipped. Come on. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Alright, what's in this room? Just enemies? Just enemies. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not making very good use of my um, diseased hearts, really. Although I guess I don't know relatively how difficult the the Eye of the Witness boss fight will be. So clearing out the rooms quicker might just be more beneficial. I suppose another thing I haven't tested out actually is does leaving a crusade early cause faith to go down? Because faith goes up after a successful crusade. Right, is that a mini boss? I guess it might be. Um, let's go to the one that will give. Uh, well, let's go to the, the random room. So, lumber, and then the next one. Oh, of course, it's not just lumber, it's actually just. It's lumber plus other things. Does chopping give more? It just seems slower than just cutting it. Hmm. I don't know. Right. Alright, so then this one. So the modifier is... Double gold, enemies drop poison. Yeah, that's not too bad. Double gold's nice. Oh! Travel. This is just to go straight to the boss, isn't it? Yeah, okay. I grow tired of you, little lad. Time to put an end to this frivolous masquerade. This is Leshy again. Is it going to change? No, it is Leshy. Okay. Well, I can't say I was expecting this. So, why was the game telling me that it's different now? Is it because I skipped going to the boss fight so, so early? That did not give me an eye of the witness. It, huh? I've unlocked a new building. That's really weird. Okay. <laughs> you did three rooms in six minutes. Sure. Well, I wasn't really expecting that, but... Okay. Um, maybe it only appears in certain crusades and certain runs. Huh. Because I was expecting a completely different boss fight, but that was just Leshy again. So what is the deal with that then? Bring Plimbo and I of the Witness. Let's go and talk to Plimbo. Because I, I don't understand why that didn't work. Maybe there's an icon in like front of the the area that has an eye of the witness. Hmm. Alright, Plimbo. I went to an old area, 
for nothing happened. Oh, I can't talk to you again. Alright, well, uh... Buy the tarot cards, because I'm here. So this is... The bomb. It's explosive when you roll. Okay. And then... This is... This is eye core lingered, black eye core when you roll. Uh huh. Okay. And then. Ooh, destroy brickable rocks on touch. Yes, I'll have that. Because getting stuck behind rocks is not fantastic for me. Okay. And then last one Soul Snatcher. 10% Temp chance of healing when killing an enemy. Okay. Alright. Well, I think that will do for now. Uh, it's about to turn into night time. So is it worth hang hanging around here? Peer into the darkness? Yep. Little lamb, you're kind of not usually so fond of the dark, but I suppose you're unlike the rest. How fair your followers? Do they love you? Do they fear you? The nights are getting longer, the monsters grow more fierce. Tell me, how does another deal sound? I promise to make it worth your while. I have something of great value, something that is one of a kind. No matter how hard you look, you will not find this item again. And all I want in return is, well, it's nothing really, nothing at all. A simple choice. Two measly followers, or if that cause you an ease, then how about half a heart from the great leader themselves? A fair equivalent, I think. Come now, a great leader must make sacrifices. Two pathetic followers are a pound of your own flesh. Uh... I'll, I've got two followers, I can take two followers away. Two followers. And it'll be the new ones. Febrebre. See ya. And... No more on. <laughs> oh, oh no. I don't think the game is supposed to zoom in that far. You are a pragmatic sort, that's what I enjoy about you, little lamb. Here, as promised, now I'm to take my leave. That's not that unique. Alright, well. Um, yeah, as I was saying, um, I think that will do for today. I'll just head back to the cult. Uh, I think I'm back down to 11 followers now. And yes, what I will do in the meantime is I will go on different runs, uh, different crusades rather, to do some resource grinding, get stone, lumber, gold, uh, the other stuff like, you know, mushrooms and things like that. Followers, because obviously I need to go to Silk Cradle. And then, yeah, I will come back to this uh, once I'm sufficiently prepared to go into the next area because uh, open door? I can't do it because I only have 11 sure, right? huh? huh? weird I wasn't expecting this to open oh, but it is open all right, well, we we'll, won't we'll, we'll do Silk Cradle stuff, but yeah, I can't buy you. What I'll do is I'll go back to the previous areas, so Anchor Deep, Darkwood, and Anura, get resources, build up my, uh, my cult, my base a little bit more, and we'll come back to this uh, another time. Uh, hopefully, by the next time we come back to this, the update for... Uh, you know, the, the content update for 2023 that they mentioned will have been done. Uh, hopefully, at least. So I'll just do one last upgrade. Stone mine. Unlock. And that will do. So, thanks for watching the stream, guys. I hope you had enjoyed it. If you did, you can follow us at twitch.tv uh, slash rigrob. And you can watch us live uh, when we do stream. I'll also make sure this goes up onto YouTube at some point at youtube.com slash at Uh With the way that the content update has worked, uh, or at least hasn't been released yet, 
I think what will happen is, so my plan is, is that I'm going to start streaming Wargroove 2 next, because uh, that comes out uh, tomorrow as of me saying this. So I'm going to be playing Wargroove 2, and that will probably go up onto YouTube before Call to the Lamb, because I'll try and get the Call to the Lamb uploads to be, you know, sequential with the content updates. So we'll do enough resource grinding to get up to Silk Cradle, then we'll do the content update, and then hopefully finish what I'm assuming is the main story of the game. So the next will be Wargroove 2. Um, so yeah, so we stream on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays at around about 9pm UK time. And you can follow us on all the social media to get notified of when we go live. So the next time we stream, it will be Wargroove 2. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all next time.